is the last messenger? Is it the Pope, Felix Manalo, Eli Soriano, Ellen G. White, Branham, Muhammad, Quibaloy, or perhaps is it you or your pastor? Are you curious to find out? Come listen to this. Welcome to my channel. I'm here to re-engineer your belief, making it more sound and relatable to known reality. If you believe in the Bible, the answer can be read in Hebrews 1-2. There it was mentioned that in these last days God spoke to us through His Son. Here, the Son becomes the last messenger. The rest merely echoes the Son's message. Some, if not most, echo a message in a different tone than the Son. These are called false messengers. But how do we know when these supposed echoes of the Son are echoing a different tone? That is to say, how do we know whether these so-called second-rate messengers are not changing the message brought by the Son? Well, we have to look to the Apostles' doctrines and examples, since they were the first who echoed the message of the Son. They will serve as a guide where we can get our manuals on how to properly echo the message of the Son. One striking example of the Apostles that I notice, which many are not really following, is written in the following verses. Surely you remember, brothers and sisters, our toil and hardship. We worked night and day in order not to be a burden to anyone while we preached the gospel of God to you. 1 Thessalonians 2.9 Now notice the conjunction, while. This conjunction entails that two distinct activities are being done simultaneously. One is day and night working, which means full-time secular work, and the other is preaching the word. True enough, Paul was a tent maker as read in Acts 18.3 and at the same time he was preaching the word of God. This example of the apostles, although they have that right to be supported, they waive this right to serve as an example for followers to imitate which we can read in the following verse. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our example. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we worked night and day, laboring and toiling, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we do not have the right to such help, but in order to offer ourselves as a model for you to imitate. 2 Thessalonians 3, 7-9 So ask yourself, does my pastor, preacher, or the supposed follower of apostles whom I choose to follow, follow this apostle's example? This is just one of the filters, but this is a good first one because this filter will filter a lot of false second-rate messengers. For instance, Iglesia Ni Cristo by Felix Manalo. Their ministers rely on what they call Tulong. From this Tulong, their ministers and their families get their personal expenses. They have no secular jobs. This is the very right that apostles waved for followers to imitate, yet they actually do not follow this. There are others, so ask yourselves, does my pastor or preacher follow this? If not, get out while you can.